Hey guys, how's it going? Nathan here, and we're back. Pool sick for president. On to episode number twenty-one. Yes, that's right. And uh, this one's pretty big. We have rewards from Foot Champs. We made it to gold three. This is our second time ever in Foot Champs. And our first time with an actually decent team, so we actually did pretty well. And with that being said, we have some player picks. We got some packs. Foot birthday's still in there for another day, so we're hoping we can snag one of those this time. And I'm pretty sure we will, because our luck last pack opening was not the best. So we got gold three, we got a player, two player picks, two mega packs, rare player pack. That's actually a really nice reward there. I'm expecting something pretty decent. So I guess I do have to do the player picks first before we jump into Maeda. So we're gonna snag these bad boys and hope for something good. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's not too hot there. I might just go highest rated with Dante, even though Bozat has pace. I think that's gonna be the move, is the rating. Because then we can throw him in an SBC for Foot Champs cards later. All right, time for the second player pick. Come on, Jesus. 83, mm, this one was much better. We got two 82s and an 83. Again, nothing looking too hot. I'm pretty sure the Team of the Week moments last week were not good at all anyway. So we don't really have good options here, but I think we're gonna go with Hasebe for rating. So welcome those two dudes to the club. So now we got that in the bank. We are going to open some packs because we do have a lot of those. And we also have Division Rivals rewards as well. But we're gonna do what we have so far with Foot Champs. All right, we'll get this gold Rappy Gold pack out of the way. This was from some SBCs we had prior, so. All right, so we got a premium gold pack. Packs are slowly getting better here. I'm just hoping for that rare card. Come on. Oh man, it's not even rare. I jinxed it. All right, give me some juice. Jumbo premium gold pack. I'm calling it. Give me something good right here, right now. I swear, I do declare. Oh, buddy, it's just a rare, but at least we're getting better. We're getting out of those crappy non-rare cards. All right, all right, gold players pack. It's got one rare in it, so that could be a game changer. You never know. It only takes one. It only takes one card to be a good card. Ah, oh, it's a board. It's hoping for a walk out there, but we get a Portuguese center defensive mid from Porto. It's going to be Ka or Danilo Pereira. It's 83. This is where it gets real. We got a rare players pack, and then we got some mega packs, and then we got some more good stuff. So this is the time to get a freaking walkout or a foot birthday. Probably, hopefully both of those. Okay, here we go. Oh, we get a walkout. Let's go. Who's gonna be Argentinian center attacking mid from Juventus Dybala. That's actually pretty tasty. So we got 88 rated Dybala. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Actually not too bad. That's pretty good, we get that from their Foot Champs pack. See if there's anything else in here. Oh my gosh, we get three high rated players. We also get David Silva. 88 rated and then Casemiro 87 all of these are tradable as well So let me know what we should be doing with these cards if we should end up selling them or uh, Like working them into the team somehow. I don't know, but all I know is holy freaking frack This is some good pack We could get non rares for the rest of these and I would still be happy <sighs> Okay, we got a mega pack here We get a board this time. I'm cool. I'm cool. We get a Tadich, I believe, and that's another, I think that's our third time packing Tadich. That's just sick, but I don't even care. I got another mega pack on the board. Let's go, give it us something good in here. Oh, what do we got, what do we got? We got a board, we're cool, that's cool. I'll take it, Spanish center back for Real Betis. It's gonna be Bartra, that's not bad. All right, we got some funky packs left. First one, SCBCs. We have a rare mix player pack, one player pack, and two 83 plus player pack. So we're gonna crank open these three bad boys. And then we also have division rival rewards. So this is just all of the packs being opened. So many packs that we got in store here. We got another board. The boards are on fire. We got an English right mid from Dorkman. We got Jordan Sancho. 
Nice, 84 rated. He's got 88 pace, so he is a speedster. One player pack, not too sure what to expect here because it could be either really trash or really nice. I'm expecting trash. Yes, yeah, so we just get a rare. Uh, dun dun dun. Yeah, no, thank you. So this pack could actually be something pretty huge. It's 83 plus. Could be two 83s. Could not be. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We get a walkout. Let's freaking go. Our second walkout. The goalkeeper, it's going to be It was an 89. 88. That's not bad. And it's, it's a walkout, so that's dope. He's doing the freaking worms. That's also dope. We'll see if there's anything else in this pack. Hello, Mr. Handanovich. You got a friend with you? Who you got? Oh! Stones. That's not bad. UCL stones. That's cool. So now we're going to do our division rival rewards and see if those are going to come even close to our uh, rewards from Foot Champs. Four mega packs here. Four chances to pull something pretty nice. I'm just saying, Foot Birthday's still out there. We need to get one. We get a walkout. Man, the walkouts are freaking real. Brazilian goalkeeper. It's gonna be Ederson. I was gonna say Alisson, but we got Man City out there. 88, 88 rated cards are just flying off the shelves right now. Freaking Ederson, let's go. Three more mega packs to go. Three more chances for a foot birthday card. Like if we get one, that's just that's just the end of it. We're set. We would be set. Uh, just a rare here. Uh, dun dun, goalkeeper, Comte. Come on, walk out. Come on, I can hear it coming. Yes, it's a walkout. Let's freaking go, Spanish center mid. Who we got from Valencia, Parejo? It is. He's an 86, really. Okay, definitely not one of the better walkouts, but it's still a walkout, so that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, our last mega pack. Give me the cheddar, come on. Our last chance to get some sweet, even though we did get a ton of sweet cards so far. Uh, that's just gonna be a rare card. So, nice. Milivojevic, pretty sweet from Crystal Palace, the squad. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be it for the packs that we've opened here. Um, definitely not a bad pack opening at all. I like, that was pretty sweet. We got so many walkouts, so many 88 rated cards. All right, so we're gonna look at the comments from the last episode to see what we should do with our season objective pick. Um, we got Arturo Vlogs letting us know Maeda is really good. That's good to see. He makes runs and he is pacey. And I'm all about pace, you all know that. Um, Alfie Hurd is congratulating us on 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate all the support and we are excited to keep pumping out videos for you guys and we're gonna do something super special with a thousand subs pretty soon. Uh, Sensible Dictator and let us know to get Maeda as well. So that looks like it's gonna be the move to get Maeda. So I'm gonna do that right now. Now, like we always do, we got a game to play. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump into Division Rivals and uh, snag a game and see how we do. All right, so you can see here all the ballers we've packed over the times. Um, lots of 88, so if there's any SBCs you guys think I should do, let me know if there's any sweet players out there we should be snagging for. So we do have a lot of high rated cards. And then uh, we got Maeda here ready to rock and roll. Hoping to add some spice as a super sub in this match. So we're gonna throw some fitness on and then jump into the game. Who we got in store? Wow, this guy does not have that good of a team, thankfully. Um, he's got his league at Oom players. I don't know if that's probably for an objective. But uh, he's got some Foot Champs cards, so that's a bit concerning. But for the rest of his team, not too shabby. Here we go, we got a chance now. Back to him. Back to him. Finish this. Oh, Pulisic, that was your chance. Gosh dang it. The lag is real right now. The lag is real. We got button lag too. So this is not gonna be a good fight. This is not gonna be good. We got button lag. I can't do anything. Give us something to work with. That's perfect. What a pass to Mares. Finish it. Oh, you joking me. Oh, I got caught in his freaking legs. All right. 
that is half. We've had a few chances here and there. Um, probably should have scored them, but uh, this dude is not very good. We're pretty much controlling the game, just not having too many chances. Um, I'm just gonna put these away, and I think we'll be fine. And I know that throwing on Kent and Maeda is gonna help once we throw them on. So, oh my gosh, it switched to the wrong player. Are you joking me? Oh my gosh, this game is a trash can. Are we gonna chance here, cool sick? Dusts, one defender, he's in, has a strike. Does that count as Pulse a goal? I think it does, I think it does. He definitely created that chance, I'm giving it to him. We need another upgrade. That's gonna be, <laughs> that's just, just so stupid. All right, so get that goal with Pulisic. sick. So uh, it's gonna put us at a draw one one so far. Now we're throwing in Kent and Maeda. So hopefully we can get some more goals with Pulisic. sick. Oh my gosh, what is my midfield doing? Oh my gosh, he just stepped away. Oh. He's finding it really hard to play with this lag here. I don't know if I'm just using that as an excuse, probably, but it's not good. Sissoko plays Maeda in. We're through. Can he finish? Oh wow, that was a crisp finish from Maeda. Jeesh. Nice to see on his debut, working it out, bringing the draw 2-2 in the 90th minute. So that's the game. We got a draw 2-2. Two to two. Pretty tight match, but I guess it happens. We do get an upgrade with Pool 6, so that's nice to see. Even though it was a little bit of a stretch, we're giving it to him just because he was rocking out. Um, yeah. So, with that being said, we're going to go into this upgrade and see what player you guys should vote for for the team. Alright, so looking at the squad, I figured we should upgrade Sissoko just because I've been kind of struggling using him. He is pretty thick and it's nice, but offensively, he just is not been much of an option. So, I got four players for you guys to pick from here. We got Wijnaldum, bringing him back into the squad. He's at 86, so I think this is his second in form or third in form, one of those. He is 5'9", pretty strong work rates, 4-star skill move, 3-weak foot. Sub 70 all stats, and he's pretty strong with his dribbling. And then we got Decore, who is better all the way around except for his passing and pace. Um, other than that, he's six foot, so he's pretty tall. Uh, and then we got Deli Alley's screen card, which is almost all sub 80 except for his pace, but that could easily be boosted with the chemistry style. He's six foot two, so he's a real tall boy. Four star skill, three weak foot. Not a bad option there. And then we got Roberto Firmino's hero card. Um, just lacking in defense other than that. It's a really nice looking card. He's got five star skill moves, four star weak foot. He's 5'11", so he's pretty tall. So that's a pretty nice card there as well. So looking at these four options, let me know which to choose down in the comments. And I will shout out the comments and the highest liked ones that we'll go for in the most said. So with that being, with that being that, this is what we got, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.